Tom Stanley, 14 turnovers in the first three quarters, only four in the fourth. What do you think the team started to get right when it came to taking care of the ball? Look, just take, playing with a little bit more patience and poise. You know, and you saw first first game, um, you know, it wasn't a pretty game, but I thought Washington really threw a lot at us and um, we found some rhythm. We got we had some momentum. We get up and then we let them straight back in and, and, and usually it was from turnovers or taking quick shots. So um, just still understanding where everyone needs to be and um, just playing with a little bit more poise. Yeah, and in the fourth, um, Kennedy was part of the, the, the first five and she really made a lot of key plays. What did you make of her first game in New York after not playing during preseason? Yeah, no, I thought I, I thought she did great. I mean, that was a, you know, fourth quarter, we were down by, what, eight, I think. Um, for Kennedy, she has experience. You know, I think that helps. The moment didn't phase her. Um, she really played and read off uh, the, the rest of the, the starters out there too. And, and that's what we're going to need. I think I, I was happy with all our bench. You know, this is first time Kennedy, four of them played tonight. Um, so we're going to have to still work out how it all fits together. But I thought they gave us really uh, productive minutes. Thanks. Um, on the night, Washington was really going under a lot of the screens when they, when they were setting up for you. What did you see out there and how do you think you were really able to take advantage of their defense? I think um, just that, just taking advantage of what they gave us. Um, yeah, when they went under, shooting it so that they would have to get up and moving it when, you know, when they were showing. So just taking advantage of what they gave us. Thanks. And JJ, you were really able to have a big presence in the paint and especially from the right page. How do you think you were able to sort of space out the Mystics and really be able to control the inside of yeah, I think just like what Naja said, just kind of taking advantage of what you see they're doing on, on defense and trying to maximize it offensively. Um, yeah, just feeling the game. Sandy, did you uh, plan on using nine players in the first quarter or just sort of happened? Yeah, I kind of did. I thought, let's just give them a look here early. Get them, get them, you know, they're new for us. We wasn't quite sure what we expected. I thought they're you know, little... I just thought, OK, we're going to be like first game, a little jitters and, and the nervous energy. Um, um, but, you know, I thought uh, they were good. It was good to get them in and get them settled a little bit. And, you know, I'm excited about being able to get more time with them to see how it all grows and fits together. What do you think, besides the turnovers, like what did you see in that second quarter that saw you guys... The yeah, that's when we we defense was creating offense, um, and then we had complacency and turnovers, and then you know we miscommunication. They were making shots too. That's when uh, you know the game was coming back. They were making threes. Um, you know we mixed up some defense in that fourth quarter, which kind of which kind of helped us get the victory today. And, and I think that's the versatility of this team. We have to you know something having a struggle somewhere. We have to what what works best, and then finishing up with that. Um, but yeah, turnovers. That's way too many. I gave them too many offensive rebounds, but. Um, you know, they're, they're tough when they're making shots. And, you know, I thought uh, we didn't do as well a great job on Atkins or Sykes. Um, but, you know, they're great players. So we'll have to be better next time we play them. Awesome. We'll go over to Zoom, starting with Jackie. Hi, all, all congrats on the win. I want to start with the players first. So for, for JJ and, and B, um, you guys were down as much as eight to begin that fourth. I, I'm just curious. What changed for both of you that sort of allowed you to get this win and, and what drove you to play as hard as you did? I think just knowing um, that it's a game of runs. You know, they're a good team. This is a WNBA, so teams are, teams are going to do that. Um, but I think we stayed, we stuck with it. We never hung our heads through the process and we just continued to make winning plays. And that kind of get a, got us back into the game then allowed us to come out with the victory. Um, yeah, for me, it's just that we've been in those situations before. We've been in those posi those positions before. Um, and we're a veteran team, and so we understand that basketball is a game of runs. And um, our opportunity to win the game, you know, it, it, it wasn't gone. We had an opportunity to go out there and play good basketball and be able to pull out the win, and that's what we did. I appreciate that. And, Sandy, for you, I I'm just curious what you made of the Shakir Austin versus Stewie matchup and, and why you thought – Shakira gave Stewie as much trouble as she did. Look, I, I think, I mean, Shakira, she's, you know, until she got injured, she was uh, on the, you know, her projection was just going up rapidly. Um, she's a very versatile player, but yeah, I think her, moving her to the four, is, it, it, it actually helps her game. Uh, last year she played probably more at the five, and when she did play alongside Deladon. Um, you know, she was, you know, she was making a drive and right finishing. I mean, uh, she blocked Niara really good and she did a lot of good things. And I think it's just getting confidence and then, you know, allowing her to play with the skills that she already has. Thank you all and uh, safe travels. Michael. 
Yeah, if I could ask this um, of, of JJ, I mean, you're, you're a veteran. You've been through a lot of a lot of basketball. Is there still a little bit of just excitement getting the season started, especially overall as good a season as you guys had last year, and then and then coming out with a win on the road? Um, you know, just the excitement level of of having such a good start for you guys. Yeah, for sure. I think when it starts being exciting, it's probably time to hang it up. You know, but um, yeah, it's always a lot of excitement, a lot of. I think until the, the ball gets tossed up and you start moving up and down the court, just a, a little bit of anxiousness. Um, but that's the beauty of team sports. You're, you're able to go out there with your teammates and, um, you know, play with your sisters and lean on them in tough moments and kind of build and grow together. So, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of jitters and stuff like that, but it was really good to go out there and, and get a dub tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alfred? Uh, hi, this question is for JJ. Uh, JJ, at Media Day, one of the things that you talked about was, you know, really wanting to get back to your old form and the importance of trusting the process. When you're able to have a game like tonight where you get out and really show what you can do, does that help you affirm your process day by day? Yeah, for sure. You know, you, you take advantage of, you know, the opportunities that you have. You, you know, you go overseas and you work on your game and you do things that, you know, you know that you can do on the court and you kind of use that time to really work. And so to come back and see everything kind of come to fruition, it does feel good. And um, I know I said this during preseason and training camp, but, like, where I was last year versus where I am this year, like, I don't I don't take it for granted. Um, and I, I appreciate these moments, and I love going out there and playing hard. Great. Thank you, DJ. Lucas? Let's make it Thank you. Uh, my question just for Coach. Uh, a lot of the looks in the third quarter were open, um, but a lot of them came from the perimeter. I'm just wondering if the shot selection when Washington went on their run, if it was something you were comfortable with or just a matter of missing shots or did you want to maybe try to generate more looks at the rim? Yeah, I think you just said it, Lucas. I wasn't comfortable with it. Um, you know, we got this run, we got up by 10 at one stage and then we just started shooting threes and uh, we are missing them. We didn't get, you know, uh, uh, JJ inside. We didn't get any post touches, obviously, getting into the paint and with the ISO. So I wasn't happy and that's what I said. I mean, I didn't get mad. It was more like, you know, we're playing it right into their hands because now we're missing them. So if you're missing them, what are you going to do differently is we need that inside-outside attack. And I think that's a strength of ours and we have to make sure that we can continue to, to, to um, emphasise that as we move forward. Thank you. And then I just have one for B really quickly. How comforting is it to now come into this season where you seem like you know your spots on offense, you seem much more comfortable, whereas maybe it, it took you a little bit of last season to, to get to that place. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, last season, it was new for all of us. You know, we knew it was going to take an adjustment, um, you know, for us all to figure out how to how to play together. But I think we had that 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 um, last year for me to and I started to figure it out through, as the season went. And, you know, now that we've had the, the off season and everything, I just feel a lot more comfortable with that. Thank you, guys. We'll go to Gabe and finish with Christos. That's so small. That's so small. I have one for Coach and then one for JJ. First off, Coach, when the team, you talked pregame about the resilience and having the mindset to really grind out wins. Talk about that mindset uh, just in this game to grind out this win. Yeah, look, I went into the fourth quarter and it was more, it's not about panic, it's a long way to go. It was more like, now we've been in these moments before and now we know what we need to do. So we, we've got to get down and get dirty and we've got to execute better. We've got to, at both ends of the floor, and we did that. Um, I thought we played well. We got stops, but then on the offensive end, we moved the ball till we got a great shot. So we had a little bit more poise and patience. And that's what you need in this game. There's going to be runs here, but we got to make sure that we're playing in the right way as close to 40 minutes as we can. And then for JJ, at the end of the game there, got a little physical, should be back and forth with some of the offensive foul calls. Just obviously you're a veteran, but what are those conversations like with the team to keep the team poised to, to get that win out? I think when I just said it best during the game, you know, she came to me, she was like, you know, we can't control it. At the end of the day, the only thing we can do is focus on the things that we can control and, and be able to kind of help that to alter the outcome. And so um, I thought that was a great moment for her as, as one of the leaders on our team. Thank you. Christos? Hey, ladies, congratulations on the win, first of all. Uh, JJ, question for you. Uh, 
that type of win in a close game with full 40 minute effort for you on both ends of the floor, what does it mean about the toughness of this group from your perspective? Yeah, you know, Sandy came in and the, the word for tonight's game was great. And I think we showed it tonight. It wasn't perfect. We knew that there were going to be a lot of things that we still need to work on and, and kind of figure out. It's the first game of the season, but at the end of the day, when you know when it gets tough, you know, what type of player are you? What type of team are you? Are you going to shy away? Are you going to step into, into you know, into the moment? And so I think we did that as a team. And um, like I said before, it feels really good to get that type of win and be able to, to walk away uh, victorious. Thank you very much. And for you, B, uh, the confidence that uh, your teammates and the coaching staff have has to do, what does it mean? How big is that for you to bring your APA night in and night out? Yeah, um, I mean, that's something that we talked about before the start of the season, just, you know, understanding each other. And, you know, like I said, like we had last year to kind of be able to, to grow and, and learn a lot. And so going into this year, we're much more confident in each other and everything that we're capable of. And we just want to continue to, to work together so that we can reach the goals that we have. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.